Hey, how's it going guys? John Santos and today I'm here at Bella Canvas headquarters which is one of the industry leaders of off-the-shelf blank apparel. Now what they do is they actually control their entire operations so you're able to get quality products and they actually allowed us to come in, film, and go over their entire process of what it takes to create quality garments. Now in this video what we're going to cover is the entire process meaning the design, pattern making, grading, cutting, the sewing, fulfillment, so you guys are really able to see the entire gamut of the operation. Now, I hope you guys enjoy, let's get it. The design process starts with a simple sketch. One that you draw with the build of the shirt in mind. Meaning you know exactly what angles the shirt might be when it's completed and really keep the dimensions and unique features that you're working on as you're drawing it. Now this is something that could be done on any simple paper and once you get it done you're ready to start actually putting it together. Start it off with, with your sketch here with the sketch that you created and obviously it uh, the sketch didn't stay this way it, it evolved to become a pattern what this is. So we'll go do that and Perfect. Check out the pattern. So we'll go check that out to show you guys how this this thing went to this. For those of you guys that are watching, this is a CAD-based program where all the patterns are created and actually developed. And from here, you guys take these and you actually start grading them to sizes, right? And well, First, uh, we want to establish the correct base size and fit, and mm -hmm. then we would grade from there. Perfect. Remember we talked about the sleeve shape being That's the right. European sleeve shape. So this is the entire front side of it. That's yeah, the front of the shirt. The front, yeah, front panel. Mm. And then over here is uh, our CAD. It gives you kind of like the goal of what our shirt should look like. Some of our CADs are um, fantastically uh, similar to the silhouette. They just created the patterns over in the computer and now they're gonna print it onto this plotter. And what this plotter is, is it takes whatever was there and it creates the pattern for you to be able to cut it out and actually cut out a sample of whatever you're working on. Now we're going into the actual sampling side of things. We're gonna take them to the cutting where uh, you guys will see everything being cut. And I'm gotta be kinda loud because it's loud in here, but um, it'll be cool. Summer's there, awesome. He's there, the man. Thank you for joining us. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. The Bella Canvas headquarters in LA houses the largest cutting facility in the USA. This is where they do their mass productions and process more than 2.5 million shirts per week. Now that's a lot of shirts. So you guys just saw us print the plotter. Now we're taking it to this area. Want to tell us a little bit about the fun and intricacies of this exact process? Sure. Well, it's not as fun unless you have a pair of scissors. This is Elmer. Elmer. And, uh, okay. Elmer's our sample cutter. So we're about to cut this sample from the pattern you just saw earlier. All right, Elmer. So we're going to take this pattern and we're going to spread some fabric. Do you have a heavyweight jersey available? Yes, I got it. There. This is our 5.5 heavyweight jersey. Um, we do process dyes for our own colors. Uh, so we actually do control the whole supply chain. So the dotted line is actually called seam allowance and uh, he's cutting on the cut line. So when those pieces get cut, uh, we're going to sew it inside out. And so the seam allowance goes away because you'll have to use that seam allowance for your sewing operation. And we'll see that in a minute. Awesome. And then he laid a piece of paper on the bottom of the fabric. That's yes. helping. There's two things. One is stability. Uh, also helps him maneuver the fabric and the cut piece on the table uh, but it's also good for labeling and other pieces like it protects the fabric from getting dirty it serves a lot of purposes actually yeah, awesome. this is a castle notch the castle notch allows you to know where to set the sleeve in the sewing process so that's why notches exist is for location it's for sewers but you have to be mindful of how you spread fabric certain fabrics are delicate that requires um, very delicate, skilled hands to cut. Now that we have the cut pieces, we are ready to start sewing up the first sample. This sewer knows exactly how everything is put together. So what you guys are gonna see here is a very quick process. 
since she didn't have too much time to explain. She takes the cut panels, pieces them together, and now she goes on over to the shoulder tape. The shoulder tape goes across the shoulder and around the neck band. It stabilizes the width so the shoulders don't peek out, and it also protects the back neck from the overlock being exposed. Overall, it helps shape the shirt, and it's something that most t-shirts do have. So next time you guys wear one, just check it out. You'll be surprised by the details that's in it. She then irons it for you, so you're ready for a night out with the homies. Nah, just kidding. It helps keep the dimensions, and it ensures that it doesn't curl up while she is closing it up and sewing. Now the final piece of the process is in closing up the shirt. This is where the castle nut comes into play. It helps align the shirt to make sure that it's closing at the right points. As you can see, she was very experienced in the process. Obviously when you go into the production side of things, everybody's set into a specific position, which from there creates that efficiency throughout the entire process. So you just saw what it takes to create a sample of a t-shirt. Now, once the sample is completed, they're gonna size it and make sure it fits according to what they envisioned. If there's any changes, they're gonna make it. And after the changes are completed and the patterns are finalized, it goes into production. So right now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go in and talk to the head of the production who's gonna give us some information that you guys could take forward and really know what goes into a quality garment. All right, let's get to it. These patterns then get checked from her. They take these out to the table and we do on the cutting what they call a dry run. So basically the, they pass the information from in here, they'll upload it to the computers on the cutters mm -hmm. and then he'll pull these markers out and then the, they'll just drop paper on top and then the paper will cut the pattern and then they'll come and check the hard pattern to the paper. So one of the things that the tech here is doing is he's uh, plotting a marker here and then basically what he's checking is the consumption of the fabric. So once he's, a, he's put all the pieces in there, he has to go through and make sure that the number of pieces add up to the, to the, the amount of cuts that'll be on there. I mean, you don't want to mm. leave out a sleeve or something. Right. So once he's assured that every, all the numbers match, then it'll begin plotting. After the fabric is laid out, this advanced machine, which actually cost a couple million dollars, takes the information from inside of the computer and pulls it into the system. Now this allows the cutter that's operating the machine to simply pull up the cutting specs and from there you just hit start and the machine starts cutting it according to the details that were inputted. Now this machine is really cool and one of the key things that blew me away was the fact that it actually vacuum seals everything before it's cut. Now what this essentially does is it allows every single cut to be precise and prevents some shirts from being a different size than another. It cuts everything accordingly and it's always the same cut. As you guys can see, they got a really very pro setup when it comes to everything. Now once all the patterns are cut out, they are sewn up together. During the sewing process for production, each worker is assigned a specific task and once it reaches the last person, the garment is fully completed. Now at this stage is where they actually do some quality control, make sure that everything was sewn upright, there's no loose threads or anything that's going to cause a return or a bad product. After it is sewn up and inspected, it is ready to be shipped to customers around the world. Now I want to show you guys how they operate the fulfillment side of their business so you can visualize and see how you may be able to streamline your operations. At the Bella Canvas facility in LA, they handle all sizes of order, from small online orders to large distribution. Once the orders come in, they assign the order to a staff member. The member will pick the order and they will bring it to the packing area. From the packing area, they will double check that the order is correct, and once it's approved, it's ready to go. If somebody wants to place an order online, what's the soonest and the latest they can place it and get it? If they place the order online and we get it in this warehouse by four o'clock, it will be out the door that same day. And this is where we do all receiving, and this is the conveyor system we're gonna have pretty much up and running by next uh, month. And again, this will allow us to take a full container of about 1,100 to 1,200 cartons, offload it, sort it, segregate it, and receive it in with less than an hour. <laughs> 
and then, then as soon as that's in, then we're putting it away. And as soon as it's put away, it's available for sale. So there you have it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the entire process. I wanted to cover the entire gamut for you guys to better understand what it takes to create your own line from scratch. Now look, these are years of experience and know-how and millions of dollars invested into this equipment. But you could also take a similar approach if you're looking to start your own clothing line in a similar manner. But for those of you that don't want to spend the year's time, energy to learn all of this, you could always find these items directly on their site. The links are down below. I also highly suggest you subscribe to their YouTube channel so you're able to see a little bit more detail as to their entire process in terms of printing and how they get everything ready for you guys to order. So also be on the lookout for additional videos which are gonna be releasing over the next few weeks where we dive into a little bit more of those details and really interview a lot of those people in detail to give you guys more content. So I just wanted to make sure you guys got this video first so you get the entire overview and then we're gonna jump into those details. So make sure you subscribe to this channel, comment down below if you guys have any questions. More than anything, let's get it. Talk soon, bye.